great music, a secret diary, and an artist who becomes liberated. The Rhapsody is a documentary about a composer and Polish Holocaust survivor, Leo Spellman, who came from a musical dynasty. Everybody in his family uh, were musicians back in Poland, and uh, he started in a small town of Zhezhev. Most famously, his first cousin was Vladislav Spielmann, who was known for the movie uh, The Pianist, Adrian Brody, played Leo's cousin and won the Academy Award for that film. And when the liquidation came to uh, send the Jews to Auschwitz uh, or, or uh, uh, kill them, he had dug a pit uh, in a store underneath a big cabinet and inside of this pit, which he dug out spoonful by spoonful, he hid his uh, sister and a, a few other people. And they were able to survive uh, the liquidation, and then he went into hiding. After the war, Leo composed a musical piece called Rhapsody, 1939 to 1945. It portrayed his life during the war, but after he moved to Canada in 1948, the music went missing. It wasn't until roughly 50 years later that it was found. And the music was finally discovered in uh, around the year 2000 by uh, uh, a gentleman, a musicologist from the uh, United States Memorial Holocaust Museum. At age 98, Leo decided he wanted to make a CD of this composition. That's when he contacted Paul Hoffert, co-founder of the Canadian band Lighthouse. And he said, it's Leo Spellman. He said, are you the guy that uh, conducts orchestras in the studio and makes recordings? And I say, uh, yeah. He says, you're my man. Shortly after meeting Leo and hearing his story, Paul, his son David, and wife Brenda decided to film a documentary on Leo's life and musical journey. First, we thought that the documentary was going to be a documentary about the making of this CD. And then when the CD was finished, we were able to get a performance at the Ashkenaz Festival. The film was going to be about this musical journey, but shortly after the concert, Leo passed away. Six months later, the Hoffords found Leo's never seen before wartime diary. In a sock drawer, uh, I found this little book and it had about 200 pages in the tiniest writing you could imagine. And I looked at it and it looked like a diary, but it was in Polish. I mean, it could have been anything. I really didn't know. So it turned out it was indeed a diary, and that, that was really such an incredible find and changed the whole dynamics of the film. The film is having its world premiere at the Toronto Jewish Film Festival on June 15 at 7.30, and Leo's family will be in attendance. For more information on tickets, you can go to our website, citynews.ca, under extras. For City News, I'm Stella Cuisto.